Well, Vincent, we've had uh, full year results this morning from BAE Systems, the first time we've had numbers from them since the failed merger with the EADS last year. How's it looking as a standalone business? Well, I think it's doing as, you know, as well as can be expected as a standalone business. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of clouds hanging over the defence sector and defence spending generally. You know, in Europe, it's being cut to the bone. In the US, there's the threat of this so-called sequestration, uh, which could automatically cut defence spending across the board fairly stringently unless there is um, you know, congressional agreement on, 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 uh, on, on a compromise. Um, revenue is down a bit. Uh, you know, EPS is down a little bit, but they raised the dividend and they have this um, share buyback plan, a billion pound share buyback scheme that um, they're going to put in over three years. So that's mm. helped to boost the share price a bit. Mm. Uh, share buybacks uh, often do boost the share price a little bit, but what, what's behind BAE's decision to, to hand back so much to shareholders? Well, I guess, you know, the question is what else are they going to do with the cash, right? The, you know, up till last November, BAE's strategy was to merge with the EADS. That was scuppered by the German government, by German opposition to it. So I guess you could say that BAE, BAE is a company that is in search of a strategy. And in the meantime, it generates you know, a lot of cash. It's, it's, um, it has very strong uh, cash flow numbers, for example. Uh, it's, w it doesn't have any debt. And uh, so you know, it has the capacity to leverage up the balance sheet a little bit. Uh, to use the balance sheet to buy back shares in the absence of anything more that it wants to do with the cash. It doesn't want to do any big M&A. Um, and, you know, it has priorities for cash capital allocation that include, you know, funding the dividend and, and, um, and then, you know, boosting returns to shareholders, and this is the way to do that. This still sounds a little uncertain for that strategy. Is EADS any more certain on its strategy now, six months on from the deal? No. Uh, I mean, we reported today that... Um, that uh, Tom Enders, the CEO of EADS, might be keen to revive the plan to merge with BAE. Uh, that there's way too many uncertainties surrounding it. I think for for that to be anybody's strategy at the moment. Um, but I think that for as long as uh, the, for as long as the idea that BAE and EADS should merge is out there, I think I think both companies will sort of be under pressure to deliver on that front. Well, it looks like sort of six months on since the merger, that some of the questions that arose just afterwards still remain unresolved. Uh, Vincent, thank you very much.